And now to the last question that we did on the paper. When you get to the end of the uh, paper two, you'll find there are going to be a couple of longer essay style questions. This one's got six marks. It asks you to explain three ethical, legal or data privacy issues that an organisation should be aware of when allowing access to hear about providing free public access to a wireless network. OK, so three issues, six marks. So we want to be able to describe three issues in some detail. So I would say we need to write three reasonable paragraphs, two sentences in each, and that will give us our six marks. Now we need to explain them about the issues that an organisation should be aware of. So we're not talking about issues to do with the person who's accessing the network. We're talking about the issues that the organisation needs to be thinking about. So let's, obviously there's ethical, legal data privacy. So let's deal with one of each of those. So ethical ones. So we could, when it comes across, when we think about ethical ones, we could be thinking about, okay, so people are connecting to the uh, wireless network using their free public access. What are they using that access for? So what kind of sites might people visit? So think about the fact if people were to visit things like terrorism or pornography or they might use it for hate speech How is that going to reflect on your organisation? It's not going to look good, is it? So, put those thoughts into one paragraph. And does that mean you have to uh, filter or check what people are doing? and say you can't do that. There's one possible ethical thought, something to do with the behavior, the approach to right and wrong. Another ethical one you might want to think about is the uh, sort of fair use. How much use are people, how much are people using it? Are they um, monopolizing it? Are they taking over what's there? So how much use can we allow people? Are they allowed on all the time? Are they allowed to download really large files? So is it fair on everyone else who's using the system if we let uh, some people use it an awful lot? Or do we need to restrict <clears throat> the amount? So some ethical thoughts about providing free public access. Then we can think about the legal aspects. And again, it's a good idea to remember the names of laws at this point. So you might want to think about the Data Protection Act. So as people use the system, they're going to be putting some of their data on. They'll be entering their uh, passwords or they'll be um, going on and pr uh, putting their thoughts onto, um, uh, onto social media sites and so on. So they'll be sharing their own private information. So the company needs to make sure that that information is kept secure. So they need to make sure there is secure access for the general public. They also need to be careful about what need to only store data they need to. So they mustn't just keep at, keep hold of people's uh, information without their permission. So for example, if people are putting into their, their usernames and passwords, um, the company mustn't keep hold of those because that's nothing to do with them. So legal protections there. Another one you may think about is the Computer Misuse Act. Are, they, are people actually using their connection to it for hacking? And if they are, what are we doing to prevent that as an organization? Another one you want to think about maybe is copyright. Are people using it to download uh, and, and steal music or software, music or software. So 
are we allowing people to use the connection in order to breach copyright and to steal um, things that are actually copyrighted? So there's some legal thoughts that we might have. Choose one of those, write down what the problem is and say why it's a problem for the organisation. And then lastly, we want to talk about data privacy. So are we, store, are we storing personal data? And what are we doing with it? Personal data. Are we allowed to keep hold of personal data? And what are we doing to uh, keep data secure? So for example, do we need to encrypt the connection so that other people, so to prevent other people being able to see what some people are doing? So to prevent what we call eavesdropping, eavesdropping, people being able to see what other people are writing. Once uh, one paragraph on each of those points explained to explain why it's important for the organization and then you can have two marks for each six marks overall